Okay. Hello, friends. Rich Carlson here, and I welcome you all to the Partner Technical Success Channel. At Microsoft, we value our coveted partners and the innovative services and solutions that you bring to market. Today, we have Aaron McKay with us, a cloud solutions architect on the Global Partner Solutions U.S. tech team. Today, Aaron is going to be discussing Azure Virtual Desktop and managing user environments with MSIX AppAttach and FX Logix. And on that note, take it away, Aaron. Awesome. Thank you so much for the great introduction, Rich. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining this session. Um, and let's jump right into uh, the uh, user flow of Azure Virtual Desktop. So we can't begin to discuss managing user environments without first going over the user connection flow. At first, we have our agents within the VM, and they interact with the Azure Virtual Desktop Managed Service. These agents validate and make sure that everything is active that needs to be active. The user launches the remote desktop client, which connects to the Azure Active Directory. The user then signs in, and Azure Active Directory uh, creates that token. And next, the remote desktop client rep, uh, presents the token to the web access. The broker then queries the database to determine, yes, these resources are authorized for this user. Then the user selects the resource that's designated to them, and the remote desktop uh, can client then connects to the gateway. The broker then orchestrates the, uh, the connection from the host agent to the gateway, and the RDP traffic now can flow freely between the remote desktop client and the session host virtual machine over connections three and four. Great. So now that we know all of that, uh, we can also dig a little bit deeper into storage. And this really opens up the, the space for us to discuss uh, MSIX Apatach as well as FS Logics. So first, when we look at storage uh, as a classic uh, VDI, VM model, we're looking at on-prem storage versus the cloud. So for a typical file share, the, uh, the VM and data disk, this is where you have your storage. When you move into the cloud, you want to ensure that you have the same resiliency and redundancy that you would on a standard file share. So the VM with FSLogix profile, what changes here is that the FSLogix acts as the file share. So you can use data disks with your Azure, uh, with, with Azure, uh, these data disks are resilient and they'll also have the same SLEs that Azure provides for other resources. And so for a VM with FSLogix profile and Azure files, you can see that we're delivering now the, the FS logics to make a solution even easier uh, and integrate all into, into all the services Azure has to offer. So with Azure Files, you're now no longer needing the VMs with disks in order to have a file share. Instead, you can connect to Azure Files and uh, have use that as a managed service and have all your, uh, your user data and user profile data contained here. Great. So now with that being said, we can dig a little bit deeper into FSLogix profiles uh, as a solution. Okay, so uh, one way I like to explain FSLogix profiles in, in uh, layman's terms is essentially when you log on as a user into Azure Virtual Desktop, into your specific desktop, you're not really sure about what's going on in the back end. But what's happening on the back end is that your, your v, there's a series of VMs that are, that are launched in a pool of desktops. Your desktop is designated to you, but you're, you may not always have that same desktop each time. So one way to make sure that it feels like it's your personal desktop in a pooled environment, you have FSLogix profiles, which on login presents you with your credentials and uh, presents you with your uh, environment and your uh, background, wallpaper, all the controls that you need uh, to have that desktop feel like it's actually yours. So let's look at a visualization next for how we can uh, can visualize the Azure uh, FSLogix profile in, in use. So we did briefly touch on it, um, but I'm sure a lot of you have some familiarity with, uh, with FSLogix profiles at this point in the stage of uh, Azure Virtual Desktop, formerly Windows Virtual Desktop. But here's a visualization of how it works. Traditionally, the operating system, data, and applications, they're not separated. So with Azure Virtual Desktop, we can now organize much better 
the user profile, the applications, and the operating system that can all exist separately. So there is a brokering service that talks to the host pool to retrieve necessary applications and data uh, for the user at login. There's a brokering service and it, it does uh, do the necessary steps. And so we can see in this visualization uh, that it is talking to those different uh, host pools. For the user, uh, let's say Adele, her prof her user profile data, like what apps she has access to and the personalized desktop information, it's all stored on a file share. So you also can see the multiple images per role. So we have a marketing person, we have a finance person and an engineer. And so each of them have their own data that they need to access and ways of, of using their desktop. For the single image or golden image, uh, there's hidden apps across all of those all of those desktops. So uh, there's a rule of least privilege or RBAC. Uh, it also applies here. And so we want to make sure that the role-based access controls are in place so that the users who need those applications can get those applications and nothing more than they're needed. So lastly, you can stream these apps as you need based off of starting with the Azure uh, FS Logics profiles. And then this is a great segue into the uh, app management and also VDI and uh, MSIX app attachment we will discuss later. So as far as app management strategies go within uh, VD the VDI world, uh, the goal is to achieve cost savings by creating a pool of VMs that can scale up or down as needed to meet your current demand. So. Uh, for imaging, re uh, it's reliable. Uh, we want to make sure that it's uh, created and ready to use so, uh, VMs, but a new image is required for each application or operating system update. So it, it can be uh, costly to maintain. For uh, central management, this reduces the footprint and maintenance costs by decoupling the image and applications. However, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that there are a long set of uh, setup times for new virtual machines, and it's somewhat uh, uncommon for uh, virtual environments. And uh, for dynamic app provisioning, this is something that reduces uh, maintenance costs by decoupling operating system and applications. Uh, this results in instantaneous install times, and this is really important and, and key for a lot of the, the VDI environment. So uh, one last thing about this is, is that there's a downside. The, the Win32 applications uh, require sequencing into a new, a new format unless you're using MSIX natively. So in a later section, we will discuss more about management and best practices in, uh, in considerations, which we will have in a separate video. So this brings us to the bread and butter, uh, the MSIX app attached. This has changed uh, Azure Virtual Desktop as we know it. Um, it's made all of our users ha happy and, and just made it so much easier to package uh, applications up for uh, the user on login. And so now, um, you no longer have to uh, you no longer have to repackage because once an app is converted into MSIX, it's there. So uh, the base application and customization can be updated within the MSIX uh, container without having to repackage it. Um, you know, it's it's really important to see kind of the you know what have we done traditionally with uh, remote desktops and what we are doing now with MSIX app Attach. Traditionally, personalized desktops, they were very siloed and they were based on user, uh, siloed based on user role. So you had one user who was focused in sales and one user focused in HR and, uh, and so on. And so they had to have a VM dedicated to all of those, uh, those applications. And so this just wasn't scalable. It wasn't uh, efficient. So with MSIX app attach uh, and user profile roaming, the applications and profiles exist in the entire environment. So you have the, uh, the, the applications that are needed for the entire uh, ecosystem all in one place. The appropriate applications and profiles get pulled down for specific users that we saw in the visual, depending on role. So we, uh, we were able to visualize this. Uh, just to recap, we were able to see how the FS Logix profiles help store our user info and data but then we also see how the MSIX app attach uh, component can 
also offer a great user experience as well as saving uh, saving on resources and time and uh, management plane. And so it's much more efficient this way. And this is what uh, Azure Virtual Desktop is is really known for. So uh, just great to have you here. Great, great to have you listening. And I uh, just want to say thank you.